Okay. Here is the bench master. And this is the attachment that I just put on. I got the two bolts holding it back there. Didn't strip the casting like I did with the smaller bolt size. And I am bigging the holes that they went through so that this gear is hitting the pinion, or the, this pinion is hitting the rack uh, right there properly before it was binding about halfway through. But now it can go through its whole range of motion. You can see the handle spinning right there as I push the table. Um, and it's about the I don't have a handle on right now, so I just have these just have these pliers just to, to see how it's moving. Uh, but it's about you know, the full swing gets you the the full range of the table, which is cool. But uh, check it out. You see, it's kind of awkward to use because I'm having a clamp on, but. Uh, Really fast action. Uh, the only slot that's in here is from the shitty handle that I turned. I need to get a better diameter fitting in there. Um, but uh, yeah. Machine is well on its way to being back in service. Just needs a handle, a clean, nice and I'm trying to get this, this is locked in there, there's a Morris 2 taper, it's wedged in there, but uh, All right, so this is the Benchmaster milling machine that I've shared before, and this is its spindle. Stuck inside was this uh, arbor with a Morse two taper attached or Morse two taper on it, and it was stuck in there from not having been moved for decades. I tried everything to get it out, and I had to cut it off. So that left a, um, you know, obviously the shank inside that spindle. It was a nightmare trying to remove it. Here are the little ends of it that I was able to machine out. But it was really stuck in there, real bad. So, obviously I had to recut the taper in there. First I bored it, and then I followed up with these... Uh, Morris two taper reamers and I don't have a good dial test indicator to check this, check this but here's just a normal uh, dial indicator and uh, let's see the run out on the center so maybe like a thousandth thousandth and a half on the center at the very tip. Um, it was kind of hard to find the axis of this shaft or the spindle since it's actually a little bit bananaed unfortunately. Um, so we'll see what it's like when it's actually sitting on the bearings on the machine right there but I think that's about as good as I can get it on this mini lathe here right now. It's a motor bracket mount for this. The dr holes aren't drilled yet, but this is how it's going to look. Ching. 
All right. So we've got a bit of a drivetrain forming for the Benchmaster horizontal milling machine. I stole this giant pulley from a, a bum air compressor. It's really big, and those big blades are kind of scary. I'll have to make some sort of guard. But uh, there's the Tremo motor that will power it. And uh, there's just enough belt tension at the bottom of the, the, the travel here. It was crazy getting everything just lined up. And it was a total coincidence that this combination worked. But uh, yeah, I'm just missing a nut here. And then, uh, you know, a circuit for the treadmill motor. And then this thing will be operational. Okay, so I put this little tensioner thing here because the tension was kind of a little bit off. Um, but it's tracking good now. And it's pretty tight. 